Hey guys, welcome back to Cossack Customs. Sorry it's been a while, been really busy with work and stuff, but I have another project that I just finished and I'm gonna walk you through on how I started it all the way to the end. I'm not just gonna show some, like what people do when they show riding videos and they're like, look what I did and then they just show you riding it and then it's like a POV of them riding it and they're like, isn't that cool? And then that's it. That's, that's all they show you. I'm like, that doesn't show me how to build that. It doesn't show me what I need to buy for that. Well, that's what I'm going to be doing. And that's what I'm here for you guys. I have an RSF 300 razor. It's like one of the ones that look like a Ducati monster. And I'm going to show you how I put that from 24 volts, which it is to an upgrade kit to a 36 volt overvolt kit, plus a bunch of lights on it too. So let's get going. Okay, it's like balls cold outside, so I don't feel like working in my garage, so I just brought it into my kitchen real quick. Um, so this is it, the RSF 350, not 300, apparently I made a mistake on that. Um, so the plastic on the front, if you've seen the stock photo like in the thumbnail, the problem is it doesn't fit. And I tried to make it fit, but there's no way because the third battery is right here, and it just doesn't work. So let me show you what I did, and then I'll show you how... I actually did it real quick. So we're going to go through this step by step and I'm going to show you what I did first, second, third, fourth, all the way down the list to the final project, which is completed now. First step, you got to have another battery. Okay. Two batteries come with it. These are not the stock batteries. I replaced them. Two batteries come with it. That's 24 volts for the 20 volt volt motor and the controller, the stock controller that's up here. It's mounted here. Okay. You'll see it mounted here. Take out those two bolts it'll take off the controller okay um, you have to have a third battery because you need 36 volts 12 12 12 and then all you have to do is a little fuse protector right there I put another one on there so it's a 30 amp fuse protector from here to the next battery and then there's another fuse protector right there that I put on it comes with one you can use it if you want uh, but the problem is you're gonna have to cut it because it, it's only good for like the two outside or the two inside so whatever you want to do if you, if you want to leave it that's fine just I use my own right here and a 30 so two 30s and you want to loop it here to the next one to the ground into the controller positive into the first battery okay uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube I'm not going to go into how to wire up the battery to the controller because you guys have seen that um, if not just search for it. it's 30 seconds it's literally like a big W all the way across all right this is the controller now huge shout out to fast scooters oh my gosh this thing is freaking phenomenal they build these in their garage there's a number on there if you ever have a problem I will link it in the description below it is from eBay from a dude on eBay and there is a whole list of things that he has that are just plug-and-play things and it's super freaking awesome huge shout out to that guy it's amazing now these are called what he sells as an overvolt kit now these motors are ran on 24 volts, two batteries, and a, and a controller. Well, they're always dumbed down, like really dumbed down, because they don't want to just overdo it. Well, these things can hold 36, I think it's 38. I think he said 38 volts these things can hold. Well, this controller pushes 36 into it, and let me tell you, my kid jumped from 14 miles an hour on this thing to like 20. Be in mind, he's a little small seven-year-old now, but... Still, 20 miles an hour out of just this motor. And that's not even replacing a good brushless motor or something like that like I had on my other one, the other scooter with the 48 volt. No, this is just stock. This this is not changed. So leave that there. What it sells you is it sells you the controller and it sells you grips. Now these grips, you're gonna have to remove the stock ones, okay? Put this one on here. You can choose your color. He lets you choose the color, no additional cost. And over here, this is the, the throttle. This key right here. Now, if you have one of these or any razor, there's always the switch, right? The switch for this one would be on the top plastic piece on off. If you have the Bella scooter that's down here, if you have any other razor thing, it's a little little switch. It's on off, it's red. You will not need that no more because that's not gonna activate the controller. This is. So what you do is you put the key in here. Remember how I have it with the the scooter where it's in the seat yeah well this is actually in the grip this time and what you do and it's literally same thing 
okay? Tension release. You literally put the grips on and you gotta run the wire for here into the controller. He completely army proofed this damn thing. There are labels on each clip that comes out of this controller saying what to put in it. It'll say brake light, tail light, if you wanna do that, which I did. It has power, it has motor, it has controller, it has grips. It is super, super simple. You do not need to be a master mechanic to hook this up, okay? It's really, really amazing what this thing can do. So what you literally do is you take the cord right here. I ran it right through here, underneath here, through here, blah, 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 plugged it in. Perfect, it works. Activates, turns this on. It also shows you how many volts the battery is, get all three batteries consecutively giving you. And all the other things are plugged in, which means if that didn't turn on, it's not obviously working. <laughs> Don't worry about these lights. These are, these are battery operated by themselves. So to install it, all you needed to do is you take out these two screws for that controller and then take one of them and just mount it here. Okay, even if you're gonna put the plastics back on, you could still mount it here. I mean, you could do it here and mount it up here if you want, but I, I like it where it's at. Um, now the battery, this is my problem. There is not a lot of room for these batteries on here. I thought about getting rid of these three and just getting the 36 volt lithium, which is cool but I, I'm not sure yet. Uh, anyway, double-sided Velcro on both sides over the top of these batteries right here. And it's not going anywhere. My, my son's already ridden this bike many, many times without the lights that I installed. But it's literally double-sided Velcro right here. You can't, there you go. Yeah, you can't take it off without it popping off. Like it, it's, it's a pain in the ass to get off. So. That works. That's also one of the reasons to see how wide it is. That's why you can't get the plastics in there because the battery's too wide. So like I said, if you had a lithium, you can get them on Amazon for like 200 bucks. It's a lithium ion battery. It's like for those e-bikes and you just, it's real skinny. It's like this wide, but just as tall as this. And you could set that in there and you can get the plastics back on. Probably no problem. If you wanted to go that route, a lot of zip ties because there's cords everywhere. My son said he doesn't mind that there's no plastic on the front because he wanted to go fast. So He's definitely my kid. Nothing changes back here, nothing, okay? You don't have to worry about this. There's no adjustment and all that stuff I've gone over before. Nope, don't worry about it. Don't even touch it. Doesn't have anything, the only thing you need to worry about is make sure that power cord right there is plugged into the controller. That's it, that is it. Very, very simple build. Anybody could do this to any of them. The harder the plastic is to put back together, that's the pain in the ass part. Like the Bella scooters or those pocket rockets, that might be a pain in the ass, but for this one, I just left the plastics off, fuck it, screw it, we'll just leave it like this. Now, that's how you get the scooter to go 36 volts down the road, no problem. But it also has a tail light option and a brake light option. Now, you can buy them from that guy, he sells the headlights. Um, I didn't because they make e-bike headlights. Now, do not, I'll put a disclaimer, do not buy 12 volt headlights for your e-bikes if you have this controller. Do not do it. Don't get on Amazon and be like, oh, there's a 12 volt LED light. I'll just plug that in up there, wire it into the controller. No, it will fry it. The tail light, they're, they're up here now because I, I did the wiring myself. They were plugs. The tail light and the brake light are 40 volts coming out of there. 40. Don't plug in a 12 volt, you'll blow it. Completely blow it. So don't do it. What you need to do is you buy these. These are four e-bikes. This one goes from 12 volts to power it all the way up to 80 volts. And that's fine because 40 ain't gonna blow it. It'll just turn it on and it's really bright, super bright. So he can ride at night when he goes to his friend's house in the neighborhood, he can ride it back. Now, the tail light, this is kind of a pain in the ass just so you guys know, it's never easy. Okay, the tail light back here, I, who has a plate this small? I mean like, whatever. Anyway, um, it's, it's not even for like a motor, like a motorcycle plate would be hard to, whatever. Anyway, this is just a, a LED brake light slash running light. Now I've mounted it back here. If you guys have one of these and you wanna mount this like, like I did, <clears throat> it sucked, but I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you anyway because someone's gonna ask in the comments. 
take off the two bolts underneath there. One, two, 10 millimeters. Take those off, take the seat right off. Okay, make sure you take all the plastics off too. <sighs> then there are two Allen keys under here. You'll see them, two Allen keys. Once you get those, there's two Allen keys under the seat right there. Okay, you'll pull those two off. You pull those two off, whole part comes apart. Then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws to hold on the top. And as you can see, it's a crease, the bottom. You take the top off and you have just the bottom. And what I did is I drilled a hole here, drilled a hole here and drilled a hole in the middle because of the cord. And what it does is you have, it has the studs. So the studs are sticking through on both sides. You drill a hole for the studs, you drill a hole for the wires, ran the wire in there. Took the bolts on the back side, took the, the nuts and put them on there. Pain in the ass, not fun. Got them on there nice and tight, then ran the wire underneath, drilled another hole, or drilled basically a slot, like a horseshoe, on the bottom part so I could slip the wire through. And then it just came down. There, right there. See it? Nope. God damn it. Seriously? Okay, right here. This one right here. See it? See how it runs out from under there? Maybe, there you go. Yeah, right under there. Came out from here and then I just ran it under the battery and um, then it comes out. Now, it has four wires. I'll link all this stuff in the description, guys. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll link the, the tail light and the headlight in the description because it's from Amazon. It has four wires on it. Two of them are ground and positive for daytime running lights, which is just your regular light. Then the other two, dumb it, I can count. The other two are for your brake light. Now you gotta split it. That's why this looks like a clump of shit, okay? Coming out of the controller, I clipped the clips off because I don't need them. Wired the headlight and the tail light running lights to what it says, it says brake light or it says tail light option on these things. That will give out 40 volts as soon as the key is turned, okay? As soon as the key is turned, it gives out 40 volts. The other two wires from the tail light go into the other plug. If you want to cut it and wire it up that way, like I did, that works too. Or if you want to make a clip, you can do that too. Whatever, whatever, whatever works best for you. But as soon as you turn the key, there's no power to that tail to the tail light for the brake light until you pull this. Now, when you pull this, it sends a signal in this wire, and that wire is ran all the way to the controller because it's marked and it's labeled. This is like army proof build. Did not take me long, that's why. So this, anybody who's anybody could do this build if you just, uh, the regular 36 volt overvolt kit can do it. You don't need mechanical skills, really. The tail lights, it's just, it's just a pain in the ass. But you can do it. Now let me show you how this works. Gave you the walkthrough of how I did it. If you guys have questions, put them in the comments because I always like to answer your guys' questions as best I can because I can't like physically walk you through on how to do it each question. I may make 5,000 videos with like three views on it. All right, so as soon as you turn the key, boom, 39.7, 39.6, perfect. It's supposed to be over 36. Let the controller do its job, okay? Really bright, look at that. Really, really bright. Stays on the whole time until you turn the key off. Then. Tail light, same thing. Tail light's on. See it? Then, <sighs> squeeze the brake. Brake light. That's freaking legit. For a kid? Hell yeah. So, that's the tail light, and then the brake light. And then just turn it off. Turns off everything. Now, the lights on the side, they're battery operated, they're for bicycles. But the cool thing is, is I put these on the bike so when my son rides at night, I just turn it on. My favorites are these. So that way at night, it's like this. Let me show you. I'm turning them on. Hold on. Look at this. Everybody's going to see him on the road as he's riding down the road. And now on the other side, same thing. One, two, three, four. See? There's one here, and then I put one down here, and then the other two are right here. So, same thing on both sides. But at least they'll be able to see him. 
for sure. Plus the brake light and the, the headlight so he can actually see himself. These things do not work for headlights. I've tried. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the RSF 350 from Razor. Um, upgraded. Like I said, I might change up the, the battery situation here in a little bit later down the road to see if see if I can actually get the plastic back on it. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll, have, I'll have to look at it. If you guys have questions about the wiring, let me know. If you guys have questions about the bike, let me know. The next one, I think I'm going to buy an overbolt kit for the my son's quad, the Razor quad, the electric one. <clears throat> and then also buy an overvolt kit for my daughter's uh, scooter, the pink scooter, the Bella scooter, or the pocket mock pocket rocket or whatever the hell it's called. Not the one that I have 48 volts, just the the regular 24 volt one. I'll show you guys how to do that one too as well. That one's a little bit more complicated because there's way more plastics. So anyway, that's it, guys. It's quick, short, easy video. You guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can because I do work for a living. This is not how I make my income. I am not Mr. Beast. All right, guys. Until then, you guys have a happy holidays. I'll talk to you soon.